We'll start with you, Mark Elder, so we'll give her a second. Tanya, you guys made three baskets in the first half. Yeah. We won a basketball game. <laughs> Can you explain that? Uh, I think it's just our grit. I mean, we put that on the board all the time, and this team fights, and that's something that um, we've we've fought through a lot of stuff this year, and especially this game, things weren't going our way in the first half, and we came in the locker room and said, you know, we're better than this, and we came out with that uh, with the toughness and came out and got a W, which is great for this team. Speaking of toughness, what did it tell you about your team without you on the floor? You got on the first play in overtime, basically. Um, you know, I trust them. Rika does great in practice, and she does great when she comes in. And um, for her to come in, not playing the whole game, and control the ball, and um, knock down two free throws is huge. So I'm really proud of her, and really proud of the team for um, getting that W in overtime. What's, what was said in, at halftime that maybe changed things, or, or just to collect yourselves? Um, just kind of to relax, and um, we needed more energy. It, it kind of felt like we weren't bringing anything, and it kind of seemed like we were just dead in the first half. And we had to come back and um, just bring some energy and bring that grit that we have. And I think that's why we got a W. Liv, you showed a lot of emotion out there in the second half. I mean, it was, is it a Montana team? Is it just the way you guys played in the first half? What was it that kind of got you fired up? Yeah, it's not so much a Montana team. It's just like we need to get these home wins. And, um, you know, we have our fans behind us. We play awful the first half, and they're still out there <laughs> cheering us on and stuff. And so I just think coming out in the second half, you know, once again with the new rules, we had them in foul trouble. So we were just taking them, taking it at them, and that's a big part of the game now. And so um, I just really wanted to get the W. <laughs> Michelle, this is your first meaningful minutes of the season, <laughs> and you provide this. I mean, what were you thinking when you're coming in there and you're playing against some of the best post players you guys have seen all, all season? Yeah, I was pretty nervous when I got in right away, but I knew I could do it because in practice we all work against each other, and I knew what I needed to do for my team, and I wanted to do the most I could. Let him talk about, talk about she falls out. It looked like you kind of wanted the ball after that. Was it, is that fair to say that in overtime you kind of wanted to be that person a little bit? Um, yeah, definitely. With Markel out, I, I was just, oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't happening. <laughs> and it was the first play, you know. But um, I just knew that, you know, taking it to the basket once again, that's my go-to, basically. And um, I got a couple and ones in there. And so um, I think me and JoJo really wanted to step up and take that position for Kel. And, you know, we had to make her proud. <laughs> it was tough not having her in there. But once again, Rika did a fantastic job. How about Natalie Baker tonight for, for either you, Liv, or Markel? I mean, wow, just to come in and step in with the number she had in place of Bailey. Uh, that's huge. I mean, losing Bailey, she's a huge part of our team. So Coach told Marlia and Natalie that they both needed to step up tonight. And for Natalie to come in, and would she get 15 rebounds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Crap. 10 points, double-double. That's, that's huge for us, and we're going to need that, especially with Bailey out. Rochelle, you not only had to play offense, but you had to guard their best player, Hamas, and it looked like the time she was unstoppable. What did you guys do in the fourth quarter that kind of slowed her down a little bit defensively? Well, our big strategy was just to take her baseline side away because they've done that in the past, and she scored off a lot of that. Well, in the fourth quarter, we just bared down and focused on getting her shut down because she was their main offensive threat. Mm -hmm. How much momentum does this give you girls going on a quick turnaround to Colorado, another big time team coming in? Uh, I think it's huge for us to get this win, especially just because we came off that break and um, just to get back on the court and play again. And um, CU's a really good team, so to have a win under a belt is going to be good going into Monday. I think it's Marco. You guys, you guys had a lot of games like this last year where you fall behind, come back, and then just couldn't find a way to win that one. What, what does it say about this year's team to finally win one like that? Uh, it's, I mean, we've won a couple like this, and mm -hmm. um, we, it's just grit. You know, we, we're not giving up, and we just want to win. And um, whatever way we can find to win, we've been doing it. So it's good. I'm really proud of our team tonight, and we're ready for Monday.